And this is not dot plots. We're going to go ahead and change that. This is bar graphs and line graphs with Excel. And the point of bar graphs and line graphs, again, we're organizing data, right? That's the point of graphs in general, is to show data in an easy way for people to read. Now, with bar graphs and line graphs, one big thing to remember is that we can use quantitative or qualitative data. So if I wanted to graph, you know, the number of red cars on a car lot, I could do that with a bar graph or a line graph because it's qualitative data and that's okay. Or dealing, you know, dealing with uh, categories with names, and it's not just all numeric. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. If I have, in this case, you see in column A, we've got the months of the year, and then we have average high temperature and the number of days with precipitation. And I'm going to do a couple different things with this. So uh, some excitement excuse me. So you have all of your data organized. And, you know, in this case, I have three columns. It works the same with two. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the first two columns. So if I just want to, I want a graphic that will show the months and the average height temperature. Now I can go after I have them highlighted, I can go up to insert. Now you can see uh, we have the bars here that I'm going. So if I click on that, I can just click on the first one and it gives me, as you can see here, a bar graph, right? It's got the months along the horizontal axis, temperatures on the vertical axis, and we have an average height temperature, right? Boom, you can see that. You can see it gets warmer in the summer. Shocker. Great. Let's delete that. Actually, oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's go back to insert. Let's insert a line graph. Right underneath the bars, you see the lines. Same basic thing. Now you can see it in a nice, smooth fashion. One thing I didn't show is at the top, you see all these different types of line graphs. So you can click through them. Right, this line graph has the the uh, temperature. <whistles> Lost my words there for a minute. Change the. Let me make this a little bigger. Change the color. Um, change the shading. Now you can see the lines underneath. Um, so you can do some different things depending on the visualization. What are you using this graphic for? That might help determine exactly what you want to use. You can always double click on the graph as well. It will open up a format piece on the right. Allows you to play a little bit more. But that's enough with just one. So you can see that's how we make bar charts um, and line graphs, bar graphs and line graphs, with just one set of data. Now, if I want to do a double, I just simply highlight all three columns, and then the process is the same. So let's go ahead to insert. Um, again, if I hit the bars, we can do this. Now, you'll notice we now have a blue bar that represents the average height temperature, the key is at the bottom, and then that little orange bar is the number of days with precipitation. So you can kind of see, you know, is there a correlation between temperature and precipitation? It doesn't really look like it. You can see there's not a chart title. I'm, I can double click on that and then title it something, whatever you want. Tittle. I didn't even, oh, er, er. okay. Um, but then you, you see what I'm saying, right? Uh, it just looks funny. Um, okay, so you can do that with bar graphs. Er, delete. Um, I think there is a way to go from bar graph to line graph without deleting and reinserting, but I didn't feel like doing that right now. So you can see if I go to a line graph, and line graphs and bar graph generally show, you know, the same thing. But depending, again, on what you're using the graphic for might determine which one you actually want to use. Um, I think bar graphs give a little bit more concrete data if you really want to see, you know, the numbers of it. I think line graphs are great for showing trends, where it increases, where it decreases, because it's a nice flow. Um, and it, so it really kind of depends what you're trying to show on which one of these you'll want to use. So you can see there's there's a lot of different options. And again, double click, brings up the format. Um, you can click on all this. Ooh, that was kind of fun. Look at that background. Right, but you have options and you can kind of play with them. Um, as you scroll down, you can change the scaling piece, um, the image, you can add um, borders. You can do all kinds of things to play with them. But the big piece is using the insert um, when you have your data highlighted. So that's kind of the key, is just make sure you get the data inserted um, in appropriate columns, highlight, insert, bam! You've got yourself a graphic. And then just in case you didn't know, um, once you have this graph, you can 
control or command copy, control copy, depending on your computer there. Um, paste it into a Word document, paste it into a PowerPoint, um, anything like that if you need to use it for a presentation or something. So, hey, high five on bar graphs and line graphs, y'all.